Hey you, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. In today's video, I'm basically gonna give you a job update. If you recall and watched this video right here, I gave you my first update of my first job here in Puerto Rico. And that video actually did pretty well, so I figured you guys wanna know more about the job situation here in Puerto Rico. I know some of you are trying to move to Puerto Rico for the first time or move back to Puerto Rico and wanna know what's going on here with job opportunities and how the job market is. So I'm gonna be sharing my experience because a lot has changed since that video. A few months have passed by, a few job offers, and I changed jobs a few times, so I figured I'd share with you. And this will give you an idea of how easy or how difficult it is to find a job here in Puerto Rico. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, so let's talk about the first job I had here in Puerto Rico, which is the one I'm celebrating that I got in that first video. So I was in the housing department for a public housing private company, and I was an assistant of occupancy and collection specialist. I had to write it down because it's like too long of a title. So I basically assisted the manager with the renewing of the contracts of the tenants, interviewing tenants and things like that. So it was a pretty easy laid back office job, which was nice. I liked it, I enjoyed it. But the problem was, and the reason why I left is because that person I assisted was not helpful. She didn't want to teach me anything. I was pretty much bored there most of the time. And also she would like roll her eyes at me when I asked her something or like breathe heavily, like I'm bothering her. So I just couldn't take it. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to work in that environment. She was toxic basically. So I decided to leave. So I only lasted two months there. So even though I liked it, I had to leave. They didn't pay so well. That private company did not pay well at all. And it was a little bit far for me. So I'm glad I left. So after the first job, I really was not in a rush to find another job. And I was trying to find a part-time job instead of full-time. So I was keeping my eye on Indeed.com. I wasn't aggressively looking for a job, but I didn't want to lose any opportunities. And I applied to a few, but um, there was one that they actually uh, wrote back to me and I interviewed with them. It was for a helicopter company and this one seemed fun and different so i did the interview and i did well they wanted to do a second interview but then they changed things they said then now it's full time and the hours i didn't like them and the days i didn't like them so i ended up not doing the second interview so the helicopter job did not work out but then i kept you know looking for jobs on indeed.com and one of the first jobs i applied for that didn't hear back from them i saw that there was a posting again and i applied and this time they reached out to me and i interviewed with them the next day and then they hired me on the spot and i started working the next day so i was there that was for a windows and doors manufacturing company and it was an office job and it was full time and that paid well but when i started there they promoted me the first day of working there because i was overqualified for the first position so they gave me a second position and um, th this is where the drama happens so I was gonna assist now the manager for the purchasing department but she quit a few days later so I was left alone and then another lady quit and she was from another department but these were two big heads you know in the company so I was left there like who's gonna teach me anything so they had to let me go because there was no one to teach me anything. So I couldn't take their position because I didn't know anything. So I lasted like less than two weeks there. And just so you know, while I was working in the windows and doors company, I did get another call from another job and I had to say no to them because I already had a job. So now let's talk about the third job. So I am currently working this job. So I'm on my third job right now. This one came about very strangely. So you know the window and door company? They referred me. So they are friends with this man and this man needed someone to run his property. So they gave him my number. The owner of the property reached out to me and you know we spoke about you know what I can do for him and you know what the job would be and all that stuff and I took it and it's very similar to what I did in New York, kind of. I'm basically running this property of his and it's, you know, it has its tenants 
and it has Airbnbs. So I'm running both of them. So I'm managing the place and I'm basically his right hand, you might say. And uh, yeah, so I've been doing that for the past, I think it's less than two months. So I've been liking it. I get out early, uh, flexible hours, flexible days. I can work from home. It's pretty laid back and um, pretty flexible and the pay is okay. And it's close by the property. So yeah, I think I'm sticking with this. The, the man I work for, he's nice and very appreciative, which I'm not used to, you know, always complimenting my job, the way I do it and all that stuff. So I've been liking it so far, um, but it's weird, right? How one thing leads to another, like if it wasn't for the window, windows and door company, they wouldn't have referred me because I was good to them. So they referred me and they knew I had experience with managing properties. So I'm glad that happened. So as you can see, I have had many job opportunities here and mostly has been through Indeed.com. So I definitely recommend if you're looking for a job in Puerto Rico to look at Indeed.com even before you get here. Now, what I know is that I've had luck getting a job or getting interviews. The problem is keeping jobs here. So that's what I think so far easy getting them but not easy keeping them for some reason now one thing worth mentioning is that i had a few conversations with a few different people after my bad experience with that lady they told me be careful because people tend to be mean in the workplace here so this is what they told me okay this is not coming from me and even family of mine neighbors a lot of people have told me just be careful because people tend to be mean at work so I already have one experience so I might be believing it at this point but yeah and especially women supposedly like be careful with women because they're catty and the workplace and jealousy and and all that stuff so I don't know that's what they told me and um, yeah so just I wanted to warn you because which is weird this is weird because when you think of Puerto Rico, I think of Puerto Ricans as humble and nice and friendly. So when they told me about this, about like people being mean in the workplace, that's just weird to me. Just wanted to warn you because it's something that I would have liked to know. And that has been my job experience here in Puerto Rico. You know, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad, but hopefully this was helpful for you. You know, if, if it was, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I make Puerto Rico content, so make sure to subscribe down below. And that is it for now, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Giving you an up, a job, a job up. You're welcome to my channel. Whoa, this chair's moving. In this video, I'm gonna give you a life, not a life. I'm basically going to give you so I was a what was the title specialist collection so if you recall uh, assistant for occupation occupant um, I was a an assistant specialist occupation it was the title was so long I can't even remember so let's like it and uh, you know, I interviewed, inter interviewed. I was underqualified for the first position, overqualified. Please, let's get it, let's, 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 let's updating you on my job up.